You are listening to the Cigar Noise Boys. 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 I used to float. Now I just fall down. I used to know, but I'm not sure now. Lincoln Park. What was I made? What was I made for? What was I made for? Uh, Billy Irish. What was I made? Billy. Billy Eilish, sorry. Irish. Billy Irish. What was that made for? It's not March. Yeah. Hmm. It's, from, it's from the Barbie movie. It's, it's all over TikTok and Instagram and shit. Uh, yes, yeah, TikTok. The thing that the kids mm-hmm. are doing these days. What's up, yeah, Sarah Noise Boys? Dom and Tyler. Bro, I do it. I do it for the for the uh, the recipes, bro. And Taryn Trolley's on on TikTok. So it's Cigar Dojo and Mickey Peg. Um, yeah, it's us. We're back. Um. Oh, this is what I was going to talk about. I had a, a note before I forget, Dom. Yeah. Um, we had some commentary about our podcast. One was oh. uh, keep having Mo on. The second one was keep having Alex come on. And the third one was <laughs> get cons- get consistent. Oh, I thought you were going to say get more guests on in general. <laughs> Just, uh... so, that's... Cool. Thanks for yeah. the feedback. Um, I, I just cut my. Oh, hey, hey, let's uh, do that thing where we go around the room and uh, talk about what we're smoking and what type of milk we're drinking. I'll go first. Last week, I had some raw milk from the farmer's market. Didn't go all over the weekend. So I'm having a substitute with A2 milk. That's the cream on the top, 6% milk fat, A2 milk. I believe it's yeah. vat produced. Your turn. Go ahead. What are you uh, <laughs> smoking or what type of milk are you drinking? Uh, my milk I like is that uh, Fairlife chocolate milk. Mm. It's kind of healthy for It's not bad for you like most milk is. Like they tell you as a kid, eat drink milk, you'll be healthy, but it's actually really bad for you. Yeah. The problem is actually what made milk popular. Pasteurization. I don't know what that means. Pasteur, the guy who d- realized, hey, if you heat it up to a certain temperature, it doesn't spoil as quickly. So then they oh. were able to send milk jugs to people's houses. You get milkmen making people pregnant. Um, the problem is when you it's heat making up... The, making different... Different kind of delivery. When you heat milk yeah, up, thank you. it kills the healthy bacteria for your gut. And so... Uh, not as beneficial when it's pasteurized. Hence the raw milk. Got to find the plug at the farmer's market. Hook a brother speaking of some milk. Speaking of back, bro. Go ahead. If you cut me off one more time, I'm cutting the podcast short. Uh, no, uh, there's this, uh, I guess your gut's supposed to have this kind of bacteria. And if you eat a whole bunch of like spicy shit over and over again, um, you like get rid of all the bacteria and then they have to put like, they've had to put like poop back in people's stomach to oh, get yeah. like the bacteria. Yeah. Like they had that. to like go through like your nose. Whoa, 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 whoa. stop, gut. stop, stop. The poop doesn't go through your nose into your stomach. They put it back up your rectum. I'm pretty sure. No, that's, I, that's not what I read. You're just butt chugging poop. No, you put it like a feeding tube, but instead there's, it's on your throat. It's, there's no way. Look it up, you fat nugget. <laughs> hey, all the doctors, 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 and nurses that listen to the podcast, let us know. Drop us a comment. Where does the poop go? All right. And then what I'm smoking, nice. I'm smoking a Tabernacle Havana Seed, Connecticut, the double Corona that Nick Melillo kindly bought for me at. Whoa. The owl shop. It was kind of funny. They were we so we go to the owl shop. Uh, I guess we'll start. Uh, yeah, we go to the owl shop, and uh, I get there first. We we had lunch. I had to drop the girls off at the house, or no, they dropped me off at the shop. They had to go back and change because they got wet from the rain. And then I got to the shop before Nick, and he's like, "See if you can get that table in the front window." So I got the table. And then I bought an Olmec, and then there was a girl there who was 
uh, restocking the foundation cigars. And uh, he was kind of, he got in, he was kind of looking. And like the, the manager, like the, the bar, like the, Two of the two of the employees recognized him, but then they had like a new girl working who was socking the shelves. I don't even know if she was really a cigar smoker. And she didn't I don't think she didn't she didn't know who he was. But Nick's like, Oh hey, what are you what are you doing over there? So oh, I want these foundation cigars. And he's like, Oh, I think you need more you need more uh, foundation cigars. He's like, No, uh he's like, We like to have a variety of cigars here. <laughs> he's nice. like, Yeah, I heard the owner of that brand's a real a real Scrooge or something like that. And I said <laughs> She's like, didn't say anything. I'm like, he's being a goof. That's his cigar brand. He owns that brand. And she didn't even say anything. I think she thought I was bullshitting. Um, yeah, he's uh so he goes over there and he's like, Let me get one of those double corona. So he grabs one. And then she's like, Do you want the ribbon? Like it came because she she just opened the box and he's like, No. <laughs> and then he uh uh bought me it. So wait, wait, I'm did he buy one now. or two? Because ribbon Around the Olmec is around two cigars, not one. No, it was around the the tabernacle. He would oh, open a fresh mind. box of tabernacle, and then Got she it. gave me this one. I think if I had to smoke so. one Vitola of every foundation cigar, it'd be double Corona. Yeah, Nick's a big fan of that size. Uh, Makes him well. Yeah, he does. So, um, but yeah, I'll just tell you, it was. Probably one of the most stressful trips I've ever been on. Even more stressful than coming back from COVID to coming back to America from Nicaragua during COVID. Um, the Northeast got hammered with a bunch of storms. So the control, there was a lot of air traffic control delays. And uh, we had to change our flight a bunch of times on Friday on the way out. We were supposed to go to um, Hartford and then it was Providence. And then we we're gonna go back to Hartford. Damn, what the fuck is that? And then that plane left. Is that a bird or a bug? That's gotta be a yeah, bird. Yeah, I was gonna say podcast listeners, he's talking about the sound. They can't see you turning your head and looking around for this. It's not a cicada. But you hear that sound though, right? That's yeah, it's really faint. No, it's not a cicada. I don't know what it is. Dude, that thing was super loud. Anyways, um we Yo, ended up flying tripping, to Manchester. Man? So we flew to Manchester, and then uh, like the New New England man, it's, you're you're close to you're like in uh, like all these airports are like an hour or two hours away from each other. So we drove from Manchester to Boston, stayed the night in Boston, and drove from Boston to Mystic. Met Nate down there with his girlfriend, um, and then we got uh, got some seafood, smoked some cigar. No, we didn't smoke any cigars that day. No, we didn't. Um, we got. Uh, do you, we got, do you think Nate's gonna be upset at you for saying that? No, we didn't. No, Nate. Nate. No, Nate doesn't smoke a ton. He, no, I'm saying he might lose a lot of sisters of the leaf followers that thought he was single. Oh, oh no, I, uh, I don't know. It was a joke. Uh, I mean, he's posted her in his story. Yeah, and I, I know, know it was, wearing wearing a hat like um, that with a smiley face. But yeah, so we end up getting some. He's got a girl. Yeah. Uh, He's not single. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> not on the market. Am I going to? Oh, my God. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Anyway, so we we spent most of the day in Mystic, and then we drove to another place and got uh, some drinks right on the ocean. It was really dope. And then uh, Sunday, we met Nick at uh, Sally's and Pizza. If you go on uh, uh, YouTube and type in um, their name, uh, Dave Dave from Barstool Sports gave it a really good review. One of the best pizza reviews ever he's got given scores. Uh it was really, really fucking good. And then after that we went to Ollier. So I didn't know that Nick was we were gonna be able to hang out and it was a pleasant surprise. Like I had messaged him and said, Hey, but it was great. Um uh Alisa uh, has met uh Nate, uh Nick before he's and she's met Nate, but Gabby hadn't met um Alisa's sister hadn't hadn't met Nick and it was a great we had a great time. Uh Nick gifted me a box of Elbow Wednesday from the original run from October of twenty fifteen. So that was pretty old. You know, they're eight years old, original run signed on the back and 
Uh, Nick Dang. is a he's just a great guy. He was a yeah. He was like I knew. It's weird because I was talking to a, a Lisa and Gabby about this. It's like like if you're in Nicaragua and you run into people and you hang out with them. Like I hung out with Nick quite a bit over the course of like a week in Nicaragua, but you don't know like if you guys are. I mean, we see each, we see each other at shows, but like I don't know if like you know kind of just whoever's down there is who you hang out with. And then that might be the last time you see somebody. You never fucking know. Um, but so for him to carve out that much time for us, and and I feel like me and him got a a good. Uh, yeah, he's he's just a dope guy. But like I said, you just, you just never know when you meet somebody how they felt about it, and if you if it was something that's gonna be a one time hangout session or this really fun. It was Connecticut's dope, uh, New England's dope, and. Uh, it was awesome, and uh, yeah, it was it was really dope. Cool. Um, two things that the listeners are thinking right now. Number one is the is the internet going to hold up? A few times you went robot. I'm going to switch the Wi Fi oh. before we continue. And secondly, okay. since when? Uh, how long ago did you start saying Alisa, not Alyssa? Is this a recent oh. update? <laughs> No, I, I switched back and forth. So um, when you check, check, check. Yo. All right. It froze, but then we're back and it's still saying recording. So I think yeah. we're good. I hope so. But yeah. Uh, yeah so all you, I was gonna say it's is- a stressful trip, but are you glad yeah. now that it's over that it, you did it? Yeah, I mean, it, do you remember Santos from when you came down? Did you come down? No, you. How many times have you been to Austin? Two times or three times? Uh, just two. No, okay, is so, it just one. The no, you came Weasel down there in Weasel Fest, and then you came down another time and hung out with me for a couple of days. Oh, that's right. And then you said, "Why are you here for like two days?" <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. So, um. When the first Weasel Fest was supposed to happen, they can't. It got canceled because of COVID. But a bunch of people already bought tickets down here. So there's a guy named Santos. He was down here, and I met him, and I hung out with him. Like it was me, Santos, Tommy, Farrell, a bunch, you know, a few other people. We were, we all hung out. Well, Santos lives not too far from New Haven, and he saw Nick post me in his story, so he hit me up. He ended up buying tickets to the concert. Like two hours before the concert started, and he met me there. And then during the concert, he lit up a cigar and smoked a cigar. Whoa! In the concert, it was an open air concert, but I'm like, dude, if you get me thrown out, I'm gonna be so fucking pissed at you. He's like, no, it'll just be me, but I'm gonna get thrown out. He actually wasn't thrown out. Did he but, tell uh, him the to con- put it out? No, he he told this one girl behind him, "Hey, if the smoke bothers you, let me know." And I'm like, it's bothering me. And so it's definitely bothering her. <laughs> you know, like I had this, like, I bought like a new, like I bought like a cool pole, uh, um, uh, zip up hoodie and a t-shirt. I'm like, I don't want this all smoky. Like these are expensive, like a fucking concert merch, you know, but yeah, it was funny. Place. Yeah, it was funny. But, uh, yeah, the concert was dope. Um, you know, they played, uh, Death Cab for Cutie did an album and then the Postal Service did an album. So it was really dope. Um, but yeah, it was, it was awesome. Like the, the day I spent with Nate and Nick, like it made up for all the, all the headaches with the travel. So it was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was, I mean, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. What cigar did, uh, Santo smoke? He's like, it was something that, um, Lito Gomez gave him. He told me. Cool. Hey. Little uh, ICS fantasy football update. Week one is in the books. Here are the highlights, real quick. Uh, if you don't play fantasy football, I'm not going to take longer than two minutes. Check it out. Screw you. Uh, who did, who beat me? Uh, Germany Flickmeister. Come on, guy. The Dallas defense. That's my favorite team. Just obliterated me. Um, so I lost fantasy, but the Cowboys won. I'd rather Cowboys win than win in fantasy. So not that bad compared to Sean run to smoke. 
who likes the Vikings and drafts our quarterback, Kirk Cousins, mistake. Your team sucks now. Uh, let's see. Stony Creek Steelers had a player with negative 0.7 points. That's 13 carries for 14 yards and two fumbles lost. And to take the cake, we have Team Uncle One John versus Motifidius. Team Uncle John was the number one scorer of the week. Motifidius, who lost, was the second highest scorer. Lost by 0.16 points. And the little icing, the cream on the top of that milk, is he had a running back, Antonio Gibson, with negative 0.6 points. He could have benched and not played a running back, and he would have won. You hate to see it. That's all. Thank you. Weekly update. Mm. Over now. Okay. Ready for home alone? Got a bunch yes. of stuff. Bunch of stuff happening at the lounge. Yesterday, guy comes in. Hey, I forget what I smoked last. Can you look it up? I look it up. I tell him and he says, Thank you. I'll have two of them. <laughs> like he's ordering drive through. And so then I just had to go walk around the counter, go to the shelf, pull it off, and hand it to him. Nice. Yeah. Um, if you don't retrohale, you're a dolphin. Did you know dolphins can't smell? No, I didn't know that. So from now on, if someone doesn't retrohale, just call them a dolphin. You're a dolphin, bro. Hey, BOTL, why are you being a dolphin? No, that's dumb. Never mind. Um, <clears throat> there was a Monday night's pipe night. And there were some 40-year-old pipe guys that showed up. I'm guessing 40. And one of them says, yeah, I have an Instagram, but I forget my name, so let me look it up. He looks it up. He shows the other guy on his phone, and the other guy takes a picture of it. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, pipe guys are funny. That's just not, that's just old guy stuff. Uh, another customer said, Hey, you want this band? You got to try the cigar. And he hands it to this other guy. It's the CAO BX three. Uh, the guy who gets it says, what is it? Nick Rogwin? And he says, yeah, I think so. <laughs> BX three. For those of you who don't know, the B stands for Brazilian. The X is times the three is, well, three times three Brazilian leaves in there. Tyler, are you frozen? Did I lose you? Oh, no. You caught me monologuing. Wink if you can hear me. All right. Wi-Fi is back on. <clears throat> what happened? Wi-Fi. Okay. All right. High energy. We're back. Oh, here, here's something to, to chew on. What's that suck on? Chew on. When you have kids, this guy was like, oh, you're having a son? Well, he heard you spend 19 years with your kids, 18 when they live with you, and one year for all the time spent with them the rest of your life. Add it up. Oh, shit. I was like, oh, that's a thought. He's like, enjoy it. Goes by quickly. Damn. It was deep. Yeah. I mean, obviously, if you are like me and you move back home after college, it's a little bit longer than that. Yeah, you get 10 more years in your case. Um, Don't fly the coop. I also heard that uh, if you unbuckle, she will suckle. <laughs> so, <I've... laughs> um, no, it's funny because I was talking to Nate, uh, to Nick about this. And Nate, both of them. Is... I don't know what it was, but this trip, it was awesome to hang out with somebody or like with Nate, like it was awesome to hang out with Nate and we really didn't talk about cigars that much and we didn't even smoke cigars, but it's crazy to think like when you're younger, 
I might have talked about this before in the podcast, and and I'm being serious, so I don't want don't make fun of me, but it's like I saw a meme and it said something like, "There was a one time where you guys, all your friends, went out and played baseball, and after that game was over, you all went back home and you never played baseball again." And like this trip just had me thinking. I'm like, if you have a regular job, like. Mine, I get a lot of down. Like, that's the thing about my job. I, I'll complain once in a while about working at a major airline at the airport in the heat and all this holidays and stuff. But we have a lot of time off. You can give away a lot of shifts. You can. But, like, some people only get two weeks vacation off a year, you know. And so it's like, like, I don't know the next time I'm going to be, oh, my God, little kittens. I'm like, I don't know the next time I'm going to be up in Connecticut. You know, so it's like, I was up there for three days, you know, whatever. But it's like, I don't know when I'm going to be back up there. And it was like, I kind of, I really took the time I had with Nate and Nick and, and Gabby and Elisa and, and Nadia. Um, and I enjoyed it because I might n- never go back to Connecticut and get New Haven pizza and, and hang out with Nick like that and hang out with Nate like that, you know. And I'm trying to get Nate to come down here, but he doesn't get a lot of time off. He, he, you know, he works for a really busy, really popular cigar company. So it's just uh, time is crazy. And I think maybe I'm thinking about this a lot too because I turned 35 in a few weeks, you know, and and people are like, oh, you know, you always hear about like midlife crisis when you're in like when you're 40 or 50. Not many people live till they're 90 or 100, you know. Um, so 35 is almost like your midlife because a lot of people, they live to about 70, 75, you know? So it's, uh, I don't know. It's just weird to think about it like that. The only thing guaranteed uh, is if you don't know how to spell guaranteed, you probably won't be able to find it in the dictionary to know how to spell it. Um, Tyler, we need to do another Facebook live podcast sometime. Because visual cues, you said kittens, and it sounded like you were, I don't know, in a deep thought. You're outside, you saw kittens across the street? Yeah. Got it. So that's uh, that's what that was. Yeah. Well, tomorrow's not a promise. Makes sense. No, it's not. But, the yeah, the main point is, fuck, uh, I forgot the main point was, but just enjoy the time you have, and... and uh, like when you came down to visit me, I was I was really busy. I wish I would have uh, took more time to kind of enjoy that, you know. But because I don't know when you're gonna be able to come down here anymore. You're married now. You have you have a kid on the way. Yeah. Uh, or even even my brother. I haven't I haven't seen or I haven't hugged my brother in over two years. Well, you can still come out, like you're hoping to in October. Maybe. Hey, Rody. How do we not talk about Moo Cow Rich and the whole milk segment? That was a really missed opportunity. Yeah. Oh, well. Speaking of Moo Cow, shout out to Cigar Noise. Sponsor. Dave West doing some videos on Instagram for Small Batch. Check him out. Enter the conversation. Use some good stuff in the comment sections. Um, And hey, Blind Reviews coming back. Should be posting Friday this week. And we'll be back on schedule. Dave West, I love you, man. You rock. Cigar Damn. noise. Never said you love me. Uh, it's finally not 100 degrees right now. That's nice. Yeah. Hey, Tyler. Yeah. Should we call Brandon? Yeah, see what he answers. See if this works. We sound like the cigar hustlers now. We're coming after their viewership, their viewers. They're consistent at least, but they live by each other. So I feel like half the time they call somebody. Oh, all right. No message. You didn't answer? No, that was his one opportunity. It's going to be the first time caller on the show. Oh, major bummer, dude. There's going to be a whole segment. Bottles bottling around. Bottles. Photos bottling around. Yeah. Next time we'll get them. Or maybe we'll call you, listener. 
we have your number. Um, oh, I low key might have a new brand that could break into my top brands. Ritello. You're not going to guess it. No. Uh, West Tampa. Nope. Nat Sherman. Mm-mm. They're not Nat Ooh. Sherman. Come on. Lampert. Oh. Except for the Rojo, the uh, Connecticut. I love all their cigars. I don't even know who's doing the blending or what with them, but they're all fantastic. They've been good for blind reviews in the shop when Vlada was here. Uh, they sell well. I'm just I'm becoming a Lampert fan. Lampert, not a sponsor. Nice. Barstool, not a sponsor from earlier. Uh, let's see. No. You got any events coming up at Ohlone? We have one, I think, with Aladino tentatively scheduled. And who's and still sh- going to be there? No. Okay. And maybe one with Oliva. We were supposed to have the Oliva event on the first Sunday of the NFL season, but we got double booked. Didn't happen. Oh. Uh, hey, if you have the app untapped, it's like a sharing rating app for beer. Uh, I got an email from them. Punch Cigars. I don't know if they did a collab or sponsorship, but they're going to some breweries. So they kind of put out a thing like smoke a punch cigar with beer. That was interesting. No, I... Tyler, you posted this is a while ago. On Facebook, someone said the rest of the song for Dire Straits' Money for Nothing is a disappointment after the dope intro. Yeah. And then Facebook gave me that with a little message below. Do you want to see more or less posts from Tyler D. Jeffrey and Feed? With the option show more, show less. Show less for show. I think I just closed it. I didn't pick one. Oh. I had something posted the other day and I deleted it right away, but I'm in this uh, Facebook group where it tells you who to watch out for, who's, who's been scamming people. And it seems like everybody is falling for the Andalusian Bowl scam. Hey, send me 200 bucks, I'll send you a, a box of Andalusian Bowl. That's like the most scam cigar uh, ever. My two cents. A lot of people are, are a, lot of, a lot of buzz around that number one cigar of the year. Still. It's- it's very mem- It's a memorable cigar of the year. It's ginormous. Like when you think of Super Bowl champs, some stick out more than others. Same thing. Didn't the um the Le Bijou? Did that get first? Yep. My father. That uh, one also comes. Forty lessons. Uh, Don Carlos, Isla Shark. Uh... Mm. I don't hear people talk about the pledge or encore much. Do you? It got mixed reactions at the shop. The Pledge of Allegiance got mixed reactions. Um, I think the Pledge and the Allegiance were better for the price point, from what I heard. Mm-hmm. Oh, what about Aaron Rodgers getting hurt after four plays? Yeah, that sucks. We we lose out on our first round draft pick now. Because if Rodgers plays sixty five percent of the snaps, we would have gotten the first round pick. But now we really. Get a second- Around pick, but if they suck, uh, we'll get a high, like the first, you know, a high second round grade, but whatever. Yeah, we got knows. a first round this year. Yep, I hope he was living in the moment, taking every day, enjoying every day. That's what I was gonna say when you were talking about that. Yeah, the <laughs> trick is to enjoy work because if you are enjoying every day, but you're not because you're just waiting to enjoy vacations, it's gonna suck. Life's gonna suck. Because then you're going to be oh, yeah, a thousand, sad thousand boy percent. after vacation. Yeah, thousand percent. And, uh, yeah, I mean, there's, it's funny, like, I'll tell people my job and they'll be like, oh, I don't know how you do that. You work in the heat or when I was in Wisconsin, how you work in the cold or it sounds physical. I mean, it's like, I like being outside. I like having a, a little bit of a physical job and 
uh, I like the the time off and the and the retirement and the. It's a uh, yeah, I don't know, but it's a uh, like I wouldn't want to be at, at an office every day, you know. Yeah. I originally wanted to be a cop. Still not too late. Probably too late. Tyler, if you're there, I love you. Hello. Tyler, I love you. Can you hear me? (laughs) Oh. Tyler, did you hear any of that? Yo. What was the last thing you heard? Oh, shoot. Okay, are we back? Can you yeah, what's going okay. on, man? Yeah. I, I don't know. We're going to have to wrap it up. Yeah. I'm going to tell yeah. my landlord again. Wi-Fi still sucks after he got the new one. Out of okay. curiosity, right, what's what the last thing you heard? I don't remember. Okay. <laughs> uh, all right. You have to listen to the end of it. Live your... Oh, enjoy your job and you won't have to Or All right, let's wrap it up. Yep, that's all she wrote. Have a great rest of your week. Rock and roll. Hopefully it records some. We only, we only get four. No, because remember, we're adding this to Five. the first. Get about 30 minutes. Then. Oh my goodness. Tyler. Hey, Tyler. There? Yeah, I'm here. We're frozen in space. It's like Interstellar. Where's the library? Where's La Biblioteca? All right. Keep those cigars on ice. I love you. Yeah!